Hi, my name is Erica Jordan and I'm a nurse practitioner student with Arkansas State University. I did my project on if the influenza vaccine was effective in the prevention of influenza infection. I did this study beginning in spring of 2018 at my clinical rotation in a local rural medical clinic. It was a minor man. We saw in the uppers of 100 150 patients a day, most of them due to the rural area of farming and the seasonal allergies and things like that. The majority of the patients seen daily had symptoms, flu-like symptoms, and therefore each and every one of them were tested. And a common question was, have you had the flu vaccine within the year? I noticed that everyone who said yes were testing negative. So I decided to do a chart audit and determine, is the vaccine truly that effective against the virus? Many of the patients who did test positive did not receive the influenza vaccine. Uh, during the study, only about seven or to eight percent did. Um, some of the influence that also led me to do this project was to determine the negative stigmatism of the vaccine, determine if the vaccine does actually make you sick. And if it exposes you to the flu, even with the vast evidence that it doesn't. And the overall goal of my study is to provide a local level statistical rate of effectiveness of the influenza vaccine compared to the national average. So if you had the vaccine and you tested positive or negative, how much coverage are you having compared to our national coverage that was reported by the CDC? Some of the primary objectives of the study was to determine if the patients who visited the clinic with influenza-like symptoms would test positive while receiving the vaccine. I also wanted to determine, is our patients in this local area comparative to the national average on coverage for the influenza vaccine? The test was conducted from November of 2018 to November 2019. I used the RB for my submission study, and I used a descriptive study of a rural Arkansas minor med clinic, and it was a retrospective chart review of 50 electric medical records. Um, a percentage was determined based on patients who presented to the clinic with flu-like symptoms but tested negative and received the influenza vaccine within the current year. The population that was included in the study was all males and females from ages six months and up. The CDC recommends that anybody six months and up should be vaccinated for the influenza yearly. So if you meet, it, meet that criteria, you're included. The one exclusion for the project was the severely immunocompromised patients. Some of them are able to get the vaccine, some are not. Some, the ones who can't usually have everybody around them vaccinate themselves to help protect them. So due to the complexity of their illnesses, they were excluded. But anybody else was included. Uh, comorbidities other than the extremely immunocompromised were included. So 50 charts were audited. If you had, if you came into the facility with flu-like symptoms, and if you've had the shot, you were included. Of the 50 patients who came to the clinic during this time period with flu-like symptoms, who received the influenza vaccine, test 46 of them tested negative. Of the 50 patients, only four of the patients tested positive. That makes the effectiveness rate for the influenza vaccine for our local area 92% effective for that year. The CDC reported that during the 2018-2019 year, 95% covered the from the virus with the influenza vaccine. So we have a differential rate of about 3%, regardless of the 95 or 92. When you reach a 90% or higher coverage rate, it is worth the shot. I will use this for a future discussion plan to determine and help local patients and providers use this in the Northeast Arkansas areas to show that the coverage of the vaccine far outweighs the risk and benefits of the virus. And it can be used as a continued discussion, education, and action plan to increase vaccine rates, which will indeed lower mortality and sickness rates. I would like to give my acknowledgments to Dr. Nancy Baltz, my clinical instructor, and Dr. Mark Foster, the
director of the Family Nurse Practitioner Program, and references are available on requests.